New CNN polling showing Donald, Trump's, Donald Trump maintains his advantage over President Joe Biden in a national survey. And the interesting numbers also suggesting that absence is making the heart grow fonder. Donald Trump maintains his lead here. It's 49% among registered voters to Joe Biden's uh, 43%. If you compare that to your question about movement to where we had this race in January, it's basically the same. Then it was 49% for Donald Trump, 45% for Joe Biden. That difference for Biden there, it's well within the margin of error. So that is statistically the same race you're looking at. And Kate, quite frankly, it's been the same for the last eight months that we've been polling this race in terms of our national surveys. Uh, this is pretty much what it has looked like, a, a slight lead for Donald Trump for the, over the last eight months. And to my point of absence, maybe making the heart grow fonder for some, the view of success or failure, or how, how voters are viewing the success or failure of um, the, the two presidencies, if you will, what do you see there? Yeah, there is no doubt that with some time between <laughs> Donald Trump's administration and now, uh, his administration has grown rosier in the eyes of Americans. Look here, 55% of Americans in this poll say that Trump's presidency was a success. That's almost a complete reversal of where Trump was on that question when he actually left office uh, nearly uh, four years ago or three and a half years ago. Uh, Joe Biden, though, you see a completely different assessment by uh, those polled here. 39% call Trump's pres uh, Biden's presidency currently a success. 61% call it a failure. A and Kate, I just want to show you his overall approval rating for the yeah. president right now. It's at 40% approval, 60% disapproval. This has just been a stubbornly, consistently low approval rating uh, for Joe Biden as he's now closing in on the final six months of this quest for a second term. There is no doubt that everyone in the Biden campaign in the White House would like to see this number move up a bit as voters start uh, zoning in on their decisions. One factor in this approval rating and uh, basically any assessment of the current president is often linked to the economy. It appears this time as well. I mean, how are voters feeling about the economy? Because rosier data is coming out. There's no doubt, but as you know, Americans don't assess the economy uh, through the economic indicators and data that we all report on uh, constantly. They assess it through how they feel about it. 34% currently approve of Biden's handling of the economy, so significantly lower than his overall job approval, 66% disapprove. And when you ask, how is the economy going today? What's your rating of it? 30%, 30% of Americans say it's good. 70% of Americans say it's poor. I just want to note here that the economy is overwhelmingly the most important issue uh, for voters. This is not insignificant. And so uh, while there are a ton of other issues that we discuss and even issues that the president performs worse on, the Israel-Hamas uh, war, immigration, the economy is still front and center for people. So this is something you're gonna hear Biden talk about day in and day out to try to boost those numbers up as well.